There is a problem with today's music industry when it comes to designing affordable digital pianos, especially those under a thousand dollars. How beautiful a keyboard looks is just as important as how good it sounds. Most new digital pianos under a thousand dollars from major brands are cookie cutter mass produced black or white plastic rectangular boxes that look out of place with most home decor. So I was excited when I saw a new digital piano from Donna. It has a retro, elegant and minimalistic Scandinavian design that immediately grabbed my attention. But can the key action and sound quality match up to its ravishing looks? With such a ridiculously affordable price, did Donna sacrifice function over form? Let's find out. I get a ton of compliments from friends and family on how good the Donna DDP-80 looks in my living room. I love the stylish retro vintage clavinet inspired design. The beautiful solid wood grain and timber laminate matches the color of my walls, my pendant lights and my wooden cabinet doors. The sturdy wooden legs can also be removed making it suitable to be carried around as a portable keyboard for stage use or for basking. There are no buttons, switches or LED lights on the top fascia, giving this piano an extremely clean and minimalistic look. Instead, the buttons and knobs are cleverly hidden behind the piano. The music rest is also made from real wood instead of flimsy plastic which every other brand uses. I do wish that Donna didn't place such a big logo on it though. The funny thing is most of my friends who know nothing about pianos thought that this is a real acoustic piano. Donna went as far as color coordinating the triple pedal unit to match the rest of the keyboard. You can find out the latest price and full specifications of this digital piano in the video description. The Donna DDP-80 comes with full-size touch-sensitive keys which respond to how hard or soft you strike the keys. Just like a traditional acoustic piano, the keys use a graded hammer action. These progressively weighted keys feel heavier on the lower register and get lighter as you move to the keys on the right side of the keyboard. The key action is surprisingly balanced even when the keys are played near the pivot points. The action could also keep up when I played repeated notes and musical trills. The red felt strip at the key pivots, just like on acoustic pianos, help reduce key noise while giving a classy design accent. The key surface is gloss plastic, but the coating does not feel as slippery as competing brands when my fingertips get sweaty when practicing. I do wish the action simulates the double escapement of concert grand pianos, but at this ridiculously affordable price, I might be asking too much. Do check out my recommended digital pianos, keyboards and music learning apps in the video description. Honestly, I didn't have high expectations for the sound quality of this digital piano considering its low price, but I was pleasantly surprised. 
To be clear, the piano samples on this $600 digital piano isn't gonna rival Yamaha's $18,000 CVP-809 digital grand piano. But I can assure you the piano samples are rich and resonant on the lower bass notes, yet crisp and woody when I hit the higher octaves. With the soft sustenuto and damper pedals, serious jazz and classical pianists can extract every nuance from this sound. From my teaching experience, most piano students do not use more than the default grand piano tone on their keyboards. With this information, Donna has decided to allocate all of the keyboard's internal sample memory to store one high-quality, high-resolution stereo multi-sample instead of giving us 20 bad low-resolution sounds. In my opinion, this is a great decision as you do not pay for sounds you most likely do not use, making this keyboard a true instrument for piano purists. Anyway, I'll tell you later how to get an entire library of high-quality sounds to use with this digital piano for free. Do stick around till the end of this video. There is no point in having a rich and beautiful sound sample if the onboard speaker amplification isn't powerful enough to project the sound. It comes with a pair of powerful 25 watts amplifiers driving large speakers found below the chassis for an immersive sound. With these speakers, the low bass notes are thunderous and rich, while the higher register is crystal clear with no discernible distortion even when the volume is cranked all the way up. For performing to a larger audience, you can connect large external speakers to the DDP-80 using the Stereo Auxiliary Out connector. Link to the speakers I recommend in the description. You will, however, only truly appreciate the detailed piano sample when using a pair of quality headphones. There are thousands of free, high-quality professional sounds you can use with the DDP-80 just by using the class-compliant USB MIDI port on the rear of the keyboard. This USB MIDI port also allows you to connect to hundreds of music learning and music production apps on your smartphone or iPad without the technical hassle of installing drivers. To start you off, this piano includes a free music app containing video piano lessons from instructors at renowned Berklee College of Music. I have links to my favorite free, high-resolution, professional sounds and music apps you can use with this digital piano in the description. My name is Jeremy C and I'll see you in my next video.